What's going on everybody? It's Rick from Garden Oak Bar Checking. It's been pretty hot here for about a week in the low to mid 90s. The next couple days we're going to be cranking up to the high 90s. Uh, so the garden's kind of feeling it right now. Thought I'd bring you along, show you a quick uh, garden tour and let you see how some of the plants are looking now. Squash is kind of beat up. Um, don't know, I probably will not try to grow that in a grow bag next year. Eggplant's looking pretty good. I got a little eggplant on there. The single bell pepper. That was, you know, the largest one I had. I put that in the uh, in the grow bag. That look, that's looking pretty good. These were two smaller ones, but they're looking pretty nice. Over here we have uh, sweet potatoes potatoes I still haven't done the video I recorded it when I first planted them but I lost that video um, you can see these poor guys are looking a little, a little worse for the wear uh, so I did start a, a potato video um, I actually lost some of the video when uh, I went ahead and it said I improperly ejected the card um, so I was able to get it some back um, you can definitely see the leaves are kind of curled up and droopy. Um, I did water them first thing this morning, uh, so they did get a nice, nice drink. But uh, they're just, uh, they're just feeling it, man. It's, it's hot out here. <laughs> um, I did harvest uh, some of the jalapenos, um, so it's just kind of, it's kind of naked now. It does have a couple little. Uh, peppers that are starting to form again um, I kind of messed up planting the squash and this other pepper plant as you can see this is the pepper plant here <laughs> but it's getting protected from the heat uh, it's got a couple hot peppers down here so uh, you know I'm still happy with it um, and with this guy coming up there's a couple more flowers that are started so Hopefully it can make a few more. Um, tomatoes, I got in super late. Super late. Um, but they're they're growing nice. Here was another uh, bell pepper that was pretty big. Um, it's got a couple fruit on there. Uh, so, here is my one set of uh, cucumbers. So the one did reach the top, which is six foot. Um, so very happy about that. You can see, makes it super, super easy to find the fruit. Um, but yeah, it started off um, a few little spots, um, kind of like a bacteria uh, spot. It was very moist here. Uh, we were very humid. We had. A bunch of uh, rainstorms and and things like that like for two weeks straight so the cucumbers did not really appreciate that um, but you can see the newer growth you know is not too bad and it's still going so um, I think I will plant a few more seeds right along here and as they germinate just get get this old plant out and hopefully uh, the new one can kind of rock and roll I have my original uh, potato bin uh, that I made last year. We still got some going. Um, they kind of got real tall and then they just kind of all drooped over. So we'll see how that goes. The uh, uh, horseradish, man, it's, it's kicking butt. Um, it actually has came outside of the uh the little raised bed that i made for it so uh we'll just see how it goes if it gets too crazy i'll just dig up some that i don't want to grow but i'm okay with it growing i'm hoping it's coming through on the camera there's a zucchini there a zucchini there that's it on this side we've got the other bed that has the zucchini Man, this guy's looking, he's hurting. There's a zucchini. There's another zucchini there. 
So zucchini's doing very well. I've seen a ton of bees this season, which is awesome. I went ahead. <laughs> I did uh, trim a sucker and I just pushed it into the ground just to see how it will do. Um, we'll see how that turns out. Uh, like I said, tomatoes I planted super late, but uh, just break off that tendril. I don't want them choking out my my tomato plant. So I got another one. I do have the varieties. They're they're pushed in, so I'm not sure. I do know that itty bitty little one is uh, the cherry uh, that I grew from seed uh, back in like 2020, and I still have the seeds going. Um, I've been seeing, like I said in the morning, a ton of bees in the area, so I'm very, very happy with that. Um, <laughs> this cucumber, you can see it's gone ahead and made it to the, into the pine tree. Here's my asparagus. My brother actually came. I'm going to see if him and I can uh, kind of tie it up so they stay a little bit more upright instead of droopy so then I can actually clear out this area. Here's like the back side. See there's fruit there. Definitely trellising is, is the way to go. Um, oh, there's a bee or something right there. Hopefully I was able to get it. Huh. Don't know what kind of beetle that is. If anybody's seen that type of beetle before, definitely hit me up. Drop it down in the comments if you know what it is. Yeah, so, oh. <laughs> and I forgot. I got eggplant too. There's another eggplant started and on the back side of this other bed there's a nice beautiful flower hopefully that gets pollinated yeah it got a couple couple little guys down here sometimes on this one um, I've noticed a, a little bit of uh, possibly poor pollination um, like here's here's a good example So you see it's normal up here and then it kind of shrinks down. There's another little guy. Um, I kind of looked around like I said typically it seems to be like poor pollination but uh, definitely the, the trellis systems I'm very very happy with. This was the stakes and the chicken wire. This was the t-post and the metal shelving for like the closet. This was the, the 2x4 rolled galvanized steel with the um, the T-post. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love it. Well, so thanks for coming along, checking out the video. Let me know down in the comments which trellis system you think did the best. The 2x4, the chicken wire, or the closet shelving. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.